Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Next in the JavaScript's array method series, we are going to take a closer look at the array prototype for each method. So what is array for each method? This array for each method was introduced in ECMAScript version 5 and it is supported in all modern browsers. You can simply use the arrays for each method to look through all the items in the array and it executes provided callback function once for each array element. You can think of it as you have an array and you want to access its value one by one so you can perform some actions with them. Using the traditional for loop to loop through this array would be like this. Here we will use for and parentheses and now here in this parentheses we will initialize variable i and initially it is 0 now terminate this statement and then we will specify the condition so i less than numbers dot length and now increment i i plus plus now let's console log so numbers i and in the console log you can see it has printed the values of this array and for each method is considered modern replacement of this for loop. In the for each method it is used to loop through arrays but it uses callback function differently than the this classic for loop. Let's see its syntax. So let's comment this and its syntax is array dot for each and in this for each we need to pass callback function and this callback function accepts three parameters these are value index and array and the second argument of this for each loop is optional this arg this value is the current item in this array and the index is the index of these items array is this array which we are looping and this arg is used to bind this context in the callback function body if you have watched the previous lesson you may have noticed that its syntax is same as array map method like this this is the syntax of array map method and it is the syntax for array for each method the difference is that in the array map method in the callback function we always have to return a value but in for each method we don't return a value and this array map method returns a new array based on the return values from this callback function on the other hand this array for each method doesn't return any value if you have not watched the video on this array map method i will put the link of it in the video description you should watch that also now let's see the example of this array for each. So let's say we want sum of all these numbers of this array. So here I'll say numbers dot for each and then we will provide a callback function. Let's say function and this function going to accept value index and array let's console log these to see what is inside these parameters so console log value and index and array now in the console log you can see the value 1 2 3 are these numbers and this is the index of these numbers and all these arrays are this array now let's say we want uh, some of these numbers so let's say here we have a, another variable let uh, sum initially it is 0 now in this for each loop here we will say sum is equal to sum plus value this one now this for each method going to loop through these array element one by one and store the sum of this value in this some variable so let's console log this some variable so console log sum and here you can see the 
sum of this value is 21 printed right here because we are not using index and array so we can remove it and it will give you the same result and we can also convert this into the arrow function like this and it will give the same result let's see have one more example of for each loop so let's say you have a string hello world and and you want to count occurrence of each letter in this hello world so we will create a new array let's say letter counts which is going to track the letter counts in this hello world to implement this first we going to convert this hello world into the array so for that let's say const str array and it is going to be str dot split and we will pass empty string now let's console log to see if it is converted into array so console log str array and you can see this hello world is converted into the string so here i'll say str array dot for each and then we will pass a callback function which is going to accept item now let's console log to see what is inside this item and it has contained the letters so here i'll check if letter counts has this item then we will going to increment this otherwise else this letter count is equal to 1 now let's console log this letter counts now here you can see it has also tracked the space which is 1 that is right here and other letters are one time and this L is three times and O is two times. This is all in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson. Mm -hmm.